He's gonna fix everything. I give you my word as president. He'll fix the problems with all the dead crops. He's gonna make them grow again. The comedy movie Idiocracy satirizes the dumbing down of society. When first watching the film, I had no idea that a less extreme version of the story had a plausible chance of becoming true. But today, a media nightmare hangs over the United States, one that inches the country closer to a less satirized version of the film. The relationship between media and government officials has always been tense, to say the least. Don't get the impression that you aroused my anger. <laughs> You say, I have that impression. You say, one can only be angry with those he respects. If there is a single purpose to the United States media, that purpose would be to keep our elected officials honest. But our leaders continuously pointing to major news organizations and labeling them as fake news weakens a key check on government power. Your organization You are attacking our news organization. Your organization Can you give us a chance Let's to go. ask a question, sir? Go ahead. Sir. Can quiet, you stay, can, quiet. Mr. President-elect, go ahead. Can you say categorically, She's asking a question. Don't Mr. Be President-elect, can you give us a question? Don't be You're rude. attacking us. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Can you no, give I'm not going to give you a question. I'm you, not going to give you a can question. You can you stay categorically? You are fake news. Sir, go ahead. Byproduct of social media, fake news is often knowingly false. The stories are unsourced and unchecked. They have no filter, no industry standard, no vetting process to determine if the report has any truth. And fake news is becoming increasingly popular which obviously creates a huge problem. Fake news is like fake money. The more it circulates, or the more people believe their money is fake, the more it devalues the real thing. Our monetary system works because people trust in it. They believe that the dollar is and will be worth something. If people stop believing the money they receive is valuable, then people will stop using it, and our economic system will crumble. Likewise, fake news weakens the trust in media held by the viewing public. The establishment media of the United States worked for so long because news programs focused on truth over ratings. People trusted the establishment media because they believed that the stories reported had been properly vetted by responsible editors, that journalists operated within a set of tightly monitored standards. But this trust has diminished over the last two decades, as cable news has increasingly substituted traditional news broadcasts with analysis programs that often seem more like political soap operas. Picture here is women do earn less in America because they choose to. They would rather go to their daughter's piano recital than stay all night at work working on a, a, a you know proposal. What? So they end up earning less. They're less ambitious, and I think this is sort of God's way. This is nature's way of saying women should be at home with the kids. Are They're you? happier there. These analysis programs are like conflict-generating cauldrons, always able to create a headline, always able to keep the analysis cycle going. Because of their function as analysis programs, they are allowed more leeway when it comes to being factually correct. They're primarily about keeping people watching. They're about profit, and truth cannot be a profit-generating metric when your business model is largely based on speculation. This is why hosts and guests are allowed to say almost anything. The more outrageous the statement, the higher the ratings go. And anything said can be defended by the news organization with the disclaimer that the guest represents a segment of people who believe the same thing. So, although these shows do not typically originate the fake news stories, they essentially become a free distribution network by giving airtime to unverified claims from dubious sources. More dangerously, these shows legitimize the fake news simply by airing them on their channels. Since it's seen on a major network, the audience believes there must be truth in the information. That is, as long as the information already coheres with the person's own personal beliefs. Once broadcasted to a nationwide audience of people craving to have their beliefs validated, the chances of fact-checking or offering a retraction have little chance to stem the damage done. We get lost in an endless circle of carefully crafted arguments, one whose outcome is often determined by the personality being watched. This does not mean that news analysis programs are inherently a bad thing. News analysis helps people digest complicated information. It's the abundance of soap opera type analysis over traditional reporting that becomes harmful to a well-functioning democracy, especially in an era where fake news has become a serious problem. The establishment media serves a vital function within our system of government. Without a reliable source of publicly accessible information, people can say anything and have it believed. Brando's got what Pence craved. Yeah, it's got electrolytes. <laughs> You guys are hella stupid! What are electrolytes? Do you even know? It's what...
they used to make Brondo. You guys are hella stupid. You guys are hella lame. Yeah, but why did they use them to make Brondo? Because Brondo's got extra legs. You guys are hella dumb. Hella, hella, hella. If people can say anything and have it believed, then there's little chance that the average uninformed American will be able to base their opinions on relevant facts. I think probably there, I, I would imagine that there's probably a gun in the school to protect from potential grizzlies. When we stop basing our opinions on relevant facts, when our elected officials are allowed to use fake news sources to justify their policy decisions, then policy will be created mistakenly. Perhaps worse, when our elected officials are allowed to demonize real news organizations and pass them off as fake news, then the United States media has little chance of fulfilling its purpose. If our media drowns amid the confusion of an uninformed electorate, then the biggest check on government power and accountability crumbles, and there is no watchdog to make sure our elected officials serve honorably and honestly. Although the depth of lunacy depicted in the movie Idiocracy is simply unbelievable, the main point it highlights is not. Each year, the events satirized in the film seem to inch closer to becoming a reality. The nightmare that currently haunts the media of the country is only hastening the dumbing down of our society. For better or for worse, the fate of U.S. media seems to rest in the intellectual discipline of the viewing public.